Welcome, GC1. Okay, first thing, what this guy's name interesting, but uh, it's we're looking at Af here. First thing, he has marked orange goal. If this is a highlight, I'm not proud of you, right? First things, gotta say it, bro. You're not cool. It's not a cool goal. We'll see later, though. Wait, are you blue team? Okay, wait, then you got scored on. It's all good. All right, let's start. GC1 misses the boost. Okay, listen, I can't say more than just try to be very aware of not missing the boost, right? It's very easy to just, like, get into a game. The game starts. You're still, like, looking over there. And the game starts. You're like, what do I do? And then you just, like, boost. You just flip. But, like, if you want to be consistent, you need consistent awareness what what are, what are my objectives so i just need to get the boost if, if that's my objective so pay pay a little bit more focus to it. and now you could have gone back just going here you're you're kind of like making a mistake on top of a mistake because like what are you gonna do now well you do go back just should have gone back earlier right all right um uh, i would recommend you know to take some time here yes i know there's a guy coming but you could literally just wait here in this position right here that you're right now this ball will literally roll like this in front of you you have a free ball by hitting it like this first of all you get lucky that he misses it but you know it's probably still going to be giveaway of possession right and if he dunks it then there's a chance you know you can leave your team in a lot do you want to rely on this guy that's uh, for you to decide all right that listen if the ball is rolling away from you the ball has momentum away from you you're not gonna reach this i i i, I could see like if, if this if you had more chance of of hitting this ball if you had some realistic chance of hitting this ball this challenge isn't bad because you're a first man they're a last man if you do get a dunk like let's say let's say this guy was like closer to the ball or something or you were closer to the ball like let's say he was here and he was like right about to hit it and you try to dunk it like that and he's like closer and then you could dunk it right but like like this i just feel like there, there wasn't any realistic chance because you know he was he was so far away you were so far away he's, he's gonna hit it you jump from kind of far away if you were a little closer again then then you know you have a realistic chance of hitting it it's fine but you're far away best thing to do i don't know if this boost is bugged right now but if this boost is there just go like this grab the boost and rotate it away otherwise just rotate away without grabbing the boost right this doesn't do much, it only delays your recovery rate. Alright, good good intentions. There is a guy is challenging me, I could, you know, I don't want to hit it into him, I don't want to let, let them 50. The problem is, you know, it's a great touch to the side. The problem is it's a touch to the side away from yourself, you can't follow it up. You can accomplish the same objective by just driving into the ball, hitting it sideways without jumping, right? Just drive, 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 and then like... Just drive into the ball, aim a little, a little it, go, it goes here, it'll bounce back here. This guy's outplayed because he's pushing up into in something that he can never reach. And the ball will go here into bouncing middle and you'll just be here and it's free 1v1. Could even be a, an open net, right? So you have to, you have to, no flip there, way better touch. Exactly. I mean, you have to, I was, I'm proud of you for not just like cucking and like giving them the ball instantly. What the f am I doing? But it, like the touch of the side is nice because it gets past the first man, but it's just into the other guy, so it, it, it still doesn't accomplish too much, you know. All right, interesting uh, rotational path thing. Um, you kind of like, I mean, you could rotate like this, but that just means like you're later to the play. So then you would probably want to go like somewhere like this and just go behind them because the play is developing that side. Um, this is okay. Just make sure again you please don't miss all these. It's not all these pads, but you're, you're just having some weird, like, movement just to move instead of, like, intentional movement, right? Just grab this pad and just keep driving. You don't need to flip. Don't be weird. Grab this pad. Make a wide turn. Be here. In this position, so if your teammate misses, you're always in a good position. You also don't want to do this weird shit for no reason. This is just shit that you you want to do because you're ambitious and you have big dreams and stuff. But doing this weird fucking shit gets you scored on eventually. Because you're in weird positions and stuff. Right. We push up a little, we grab the mid boost, and, and again, objective. What is my objective? Push up a little, don't be too far back, grab the mid boost, and then what? Is it push up more, even though I'm not, like, you're not reaching the ball. There's two guys there, your homie rough S word is, is there, so that means you can't challenge, first of all. Uh, even if he wasn't there, you don't want to challenge because, again, the opponent is beating you, right? So it's grab the boost, stop, right? You can stop here, you can turn, you could wait. Once you do this, you, I mean, you could perhaps even go on the wall and then turn back. Pushing up like this into, like, under the ball 
it's just asking to die. It's like it's no bueno. Mm, here, there's also another additional problem. It's it, it's running away too much. Like you 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 fucked up. You suck dick, and now you're 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 in a shitty position. You're like Fuck me, I suck. Well, I can at least cover my net, right? Like Flake sold me to. Well, that's true, but you're covering your net like this. This is good. Once you flip, have you thought about the interaction where this ball, like, let's say they both miss and the ball just drops middle? Have you thought about that interaction? You just need to cover the shot. Like, this is this is all right. You could quickly turn off ball cam, grab this pad, turn on ball cam again, and just have this rotation. They fuck up, you turn here, and then you, your interaction moment will be right about there because of the pass middle, right? But, like, going too far back just allows them all the free space, right? Um... What I could say about this is like, once you are in this shitty position, this is good positioning. It might get complicated, but it's very simple. You don't want to be in the middle of the net. Quick, quick explanation is why? Because you have to pick a side. If I'm here and they're about to shoot, I have to pick left or pick right. If I pick left, I can't go right. If I pick right, I can't go left. This is why we make a wider turn. So we're on one side of the field. I'm on the right side of the field and I'm facing left. So I'm covering both. I'm here already. And I'm driving towards the other side, so I'm covering the other side. It's that simple. It's just the awareness of, hey, I can't be here because now I have to like turn left and then I'm not cover covering right. Uh, turn right, you don't cover left. It, it, it is that simple. This is all avoided if I don't push up from mid like I did. Yeah, that, that as well. You also grab the mid boost and then pushed up way too far. It's a couple mistakes in a row. Yeah, streaming this for three hours already bro i woke up at like 1 p.m today normally i wake up at like 7 so it's it's very early for me but i'm, I'm very happy this is good just let your team do your thing you're not cool you don't want to you don't want to be near weird nice almost too early too shitty but good uh all right so here you just want to be in a position where you can drive forward to whatever the f happens next the, the possible outcomes are this ball bounces middle and you have to score so you all, all you have to do is just be 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 ready to go middle. What that means is the ball, the ball is bouncing from this wall. It means it's gonna go. No, it's not gonna go here, it, like unless it's the bottom of the, the the shit. But it's gonna bounce out, which means the more you get closer to that bounce, the more you have a chance you're gonna misread or the ball goes over your head or you suck dick or something like that, right? So when you know a ball is bouncing out, have patience. This is a bit better position than this. In this situation, you can always push up forward if you if you have a free shot. Which this is, this is either going to be a free shot or the opponent hits it, right? And if you know that, then you don't want to get too close, right? Either the opponent goes up now and he like hits it, and if it's free, then it's free. Which means you don't want to get too close and then like almost miss it. You have to like weird read. Oh, do I arrow here? Oh, no, no, no. You know, but you still score, which is good. But it's just like decisions like that can cause inconsistencies. It can cause you to like miss an open net like that, you know. I wake up at 7.40 a.m. for school, yeah. I mean, if I was in school, I would be forced to wake up that early as well. I used to run in like two hours of sleep, like a zombie. Rank is this guy, GC1. So here, you also want to know you have a free ball, period. As soon as you decide to go and hit this, well, it's not a free ball anymore. Right? This guy's turning back for boost, so it actually still is, but if he fly f***ing penguin didn't miss the boost, and you do this, he grabs the boost, and he turns into you, then this is his free ball, right? He has 100 boosts, he comes down, he single jump flips, who's back, well, not f***ing rough S-word, because it's your team and you can't rely on them. No, I'm not saying control the ball, Willy, or Will. It's good that you mention it, though. I'm not saying touch the ball here. I'm just saying, like, turn away here. Right? If they go back, you turn, you grab the boost, turn again, you have a free ball, right? It's gonna bounce, bounce, here right if he stays if the opponent stays you just turn away and you know the opponent will have ball possession briefly but he you know he either doesn't have boost if he if he decides to go from here to here and he'll be just probably playing into your corner and if you know you you challenge when it's threatening right so if he like if he tries to control the ball and you're like somewhere around here you could challenge but if he's like straight on behind the ball not really threatening you just like let him push 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 you just take all his boost and then he ends up in your corner with zero boost uh, it's good that you mentioned that though because uh, I don't want you to try and control the ball there because you shouldn't try shit that you're not comfortable with. So I get that, you know, 
this isn't like the best positioning and you're like under the ball and shit but randomly deciding to go somewhere else while something is developing uh, there is a play happening right now the homie is literally in the air already the ball could again end up somewhere around here your teammate is is unreliable period i'm not trying to be mean to that guy i'm just saying like if you want to play consistently you can't rely on them because once they fuck up you're gonna be like oh my team fucked up and you can't do anything anymore you, you want to be able to be in control of your game right this is like randomly going away here the ball ends up there and you could have just been there if you just kept that kept you know this right you can also cover your net like this right you could just go like this if he shoots you just you know try to go on the wall or try you, you have to go up if you have to go up but uh randomly just going this i i agree this this rotation would be good if they were still like on the wall or like back here if you had like an, an extra second to do that but you don't something is happening already right so you should have just driven there to the corner and then you could have been there could have probably be beaten their last man or something like that your your best positioning in net is a little bit on the opposite side of the of the goal uh, and i'll explain everything in a second it, it's a little bit opposite side of, of where the play is and behind the goal line and the reasoning for this is if you're in the middle of the field or the net like this if he shoots it behind you, they, they, you, you, you have to like stretch like this, but like you might not reach because the backflip can only go so far. You can, it's easier to go forward than to go backwards. That's why we go a little bit more back. So if it goes in front of us, we can just boost towards it. And if it goes behind us, well, then we're already there, you know. And also you want to be facing the plate. So you don't want to be like the shot is happening right about now. I mean, now you are facing the plate, but you're like still setting up this weird shit instead of it like just going here. And then waiting here if you can't right don't don't be like still turning while the shot is happening and don't be here this is if he shoots here you're not going to reach the ball is going to go over you fairy peak is going to score uh here you could have just waited a little here let the ball bounce out you don't have to read the bounce if you don't have to you don't have to here because you don't have to you have time the guy's landing in your corner let it bounce out you see where the bounce is and then you go for the fucking aerial that you practice you know you practice this shit for thousands of hours now actually utilize it don't just randomly run out of your net then the bounce happens you almost misread it and then i mean you still like you still do decent but you know it's not consistent uh also awareness hit having forward going momentum like this a lot of times means his giveaway of possession, right? Forward going momentum. It's a very deep, complicated, advanced thing here, but getting a sideways touch, like towards the sidewall, or like a touch more in front of you, can give you the chance to, to have ball possession. Now, what do I mean by this? If you can hit this ball, uh, like here, sidewall and back to middle you could perhaps land here and be able to go again and it's a one one it's a totally different situation hitting it like this forward going momentum this instead of this means it's it's their ball right as i said it's very advanced it's very complex and it's not something you have to like worry about too much but if you can worry about it if you can be aware of it then it's just only good for you to keep ball possession right because you can outplay this guy while keeping ball possession that's just it right this again I don't like this too much there is the you are the first man he is the last man type of beat so if you do want to go for this that's completely fine i would probably just push up and then turn away because you know where's this ball going you have to realize like if, the, if he booms his ball past you it's your it's your teammates it's free ball right this is your teammates it's free ball um all you have to do is just push up he's gonna hit it you just do this team has free ball he could even pass you you could turn back aggressively um I'm not saying challenging is entirely crazy if i was a little closer i would probably challenge but I don't know so there definitely boost grab is the thing you need to have some awareness of like oh this guy just challenged and he's gonna land like back right somewhere there but this is a 2v1 right that's why th this challenge is kind of justified i don't mind it right but by now this guy's back the, the other guy's back like he's not still in your corner eating his own shit if you're not sure a quick little fucking uh right analog stick to the side like break your neck and quickly check if there's a, na a nameplate there you don't have to fully see the the wheel the decals the car itself just look for a something orange but general awareness would know that you know you can't really go for this the way that i would deal with this situation is grab this boost and score if it's open and if he's there just rotate and free ball for your teammate okay interesting movement again hey but flakes i want this pad you shut the f there's a pad here and there's pads here uh opposite side shit is very good if you can get in a, in a in a good position 
while like nothing is developing so now you you know this shit's developing sure but you can go here grab this pad grab this pad you know go like this and you're opposite side with a lot of boost right you don't have to like get to the same side then fuck off zigzag mode right you don't have to just do normal stuff <clears throat> So again, this is very sus movement. If this is Fairy Peak, that's top corner, bro. And all you can do is can look at that fucking corner and he, Fairy Peak is smiling. You don't want to... You don't want to... It's top right at Fairy, exactly. So that means, you know, you can grab this pad, sure, but it has to be a wide turn into here. You have to be aware of these things. Now, if he shoots top corner, well, sure, you just jump up and fucking hit the ball because he's shooting it towards you. If it's here... If it goes top corner, you have to like turn and it's too late. All right, good. Still get a free goal, but that's because your opponent sucked. They can they pass the ball to you. It's not because you're insane, but hey, it works. Interesting. Again, it's it's one. Oh, now we rely on your Fennec teammate. All right, kickoff happens. This happens. Opponent is up. Uh, I would just like you're here. I would just like turn with this potential hit. He hits it somewhere and you're just in a position to collect that free ball. That's how I would play it. It's up to you. I do see there's a possible chance for you to score here. I don't mind it. It's up to you f to decide your own risk reward ratio. We go for the challenge. Uh, now it's uh, it's 2v1 on, on your teammate. Luckily, this guy just shoots. Again, if it's very peak, you, you lose. Go to your net. So here you kind of do have lazy. You're rotating as if you have as if you have no boost, as if you have no, like, let's move on. Like, the, the way I would rotate is, you know, you grab, use some boost, grab this shit, be here, and you maybe turn here for your middle pass or something, but, like, you're just rotating as if you don't exist. Have infinite time? Yeah. Grab the boost! So, like, here, you can do exactly what you're doing right now, which is cucking, but you can, meanwhile, grab the boost and then cuck and cry in the corner right it, it's just a little better but it's cucking it regardless see you could have been here with full boost hey good fate challenge they shit themselves good job problem is ow, i'm gonna go for the ball now and your team is gonna want to go and you're gonna fuck him up well he was there he has a hundred boost know that there's two people on the team have some awareness this could have all been avoided how if we grab the boost here oh he's going on the wall there's a downtime of like 1.5 second okay i can go do this and be in the exact same position but have a full boost you know that's that's the difference and then you could have just gone for that play yourself here you know there's a teammate right there you make him shit himself you're not in the best position uh you know use your right analog stick use your reverse cam button or just know that your teammate is probably there <laughs> Nice try. Flip! Good job. Flip! Good job. You have to go. Good job. Good job. You successfully defended. Good job. Why do you have to go? Well, you can't go. Look at this, bro. This is a fucking. The, the flying penguin, bro. Top corner. You can't do shit. You cannot sit in that tier. It's. It, don't care what you're saying. Very peak. Don't miss. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. Tears of joy, indeed. <laughs> Uh, fair pick, don't miss. Uh, but it's good. You have to go up here. You're sitting in that. You're cucking here. You have full boost, so you have to use this to your advantage. Um, you are kind of late and slow, and it's only because of the way you arrow. Like if you fly up like this, this is fine. But since you like arrow like this with your neck, now your car is not facing to the correct position anymore. You actually went down and like kind of scooped under the shit. So you actually almost you gotta like reach with your upper fucking hair. Because otherwise you wouldn't reach, and it's only because your air rolling sucked there. Don't, it's, you don't have to. It's, literally, it's gone to safety already. I've been told air rolling makes you slow. No, air rolling doesn't make you slow, but air rolling in a way that, where it changes your trajectory from the point you have to go to, to some other point, will make you slow, because you're not going to the exact position anymore. Also, I do actually want to mention something. This could have been a goal for you, if you had, like, a... Instead of driving like this, you were driving more like this. And this is actually scorable. Uh, pushing up away from your goal line oftentimes isn't very good. You, you most of the time just want to come from this position. And this could have actually been scorable. Single jump flip and just hit the shit. But with your positioning that you had, it's already going to safety. I can't score, just leave it. See, like, you can blame your teammate for this. Because what the f*** is he doing? What the f***? 
We don't know. We don't want to know. We don't have anything to do. Stop here. Like, you just go like this. There's a chance this could go middle. I'm here in this position. I can go middle. If I can't reach A, so be it. Um, if I can reach, great. Uh, if I can't reach, great. But, like, you can't just push up and, like, deny the, the, the fact that there's a small RNG that he's fucking stupid. I love you. I, I don't mean to be rude, but there is a chance where he double taps his own, on his own and his own goal. So you have to sub. Even stopping somewhere around here is better than pushing up even more, you know? Because so, if you stop here, you'll probably be fine. I'm fine. I can drive forward to whatever the f happens next. Just a, a little bit too much wanting to do something you want to be useful, so you end up not being useful at all because you, you cut yourself. Okay. My objective is, first of all, get your ass to defense. Second of all, when you are getting to defense, this could go in. This could go in. There's a 50. This this could go here, right? Where the f are you? Are you covering your net like this? Actually, and anticipating. Every time I f***ing play and this happens, I'm, I'm expecting this to be a goal. That's the difference. You're just driving, ah, 50, I have one eye closed, you're like looking over there, and you're like, ah, and then when this goes in, you're like, like, you can't do shit. You like, you have to be expecting this and like being there so that if it actually happens, you're fine, you know? You gotta discover this, this happens, okay, now I can push up, and you come from a better position as well, you literally push up the same side, now you can turn, if this went on target, there's no one back, right? First of all, I would have rotated a little bit quicker, again, some lazy rotation here, and then I would have just rotated like this, he's getting 50 you would be somewhere around here, if the 50 goes on target, you're there, and otherwise you're in a good position, you could even just, like, stop here somewhere, if you notice that, you know, your teammate is still in control of the ball, you don't want to ball chase, right? Now, because of the bad positioning, you maintain this bad positioning by turning into the play. There is moment of an interaction, right? He does something, first of all, way too close. He has the ball again, you're like, oh, I, I want to play as well. <laughs> but like, now he goes for a flip, moment of an interaction, the opponent is turning, and they could hit it back, right? You, you cannot turn that way. This is an aggressive turn, you're leaving your net completely open. Fairy Peak would have scored this top corner instantly. Um, turning left, like, is a mistake, but in this exact situation, you're not doomed yet, right? This ball is going towards net, it's scary, yes, I get it. As soon as you jump and miss, you're f So know that, right? If you, if there's no one hitting this ball anymore, which there is no one, this guy's landing here, he will hit it in like a second or two, but he's not hitting it yet, this guy's AFK eating ass. Uh, you have until this guy comes to calculate, to look at the f***ing ball, can I fly up there? Is it too high? It, how high is it? Can I single jump this? Do I have to double jump? As soon as you double jump, you have chosen your trajectory and you're stuck. No, yeah, I know you're close. I know you want to hit that shit, but to hit that shit, you have to flip. You can't. So again, this is like you're, you're making mistakes, but like this is fixable. These, these mistakes are fixable. Single jump, fly, flip. It, it's just panic, I know, and it, it's scary because, you know, the ball is com coming and if you don't do anything, you'll get scored on. I, I get it. I'm not trying to just make fun of you, but I hope you do understand that I would probably go wall. Challenging isn't bad. Uh, again, forward going momentum. Can you hit this in a position where you could go for it again? It's, it's, I get it. It's hard. It's hard to hit this in a position where you could go for it. This is for your rank, this is okay. You just go up and you just hit it. It's, it's all right. 99.9% .9 of the, the rest of the world does it as well. Pushing out towards a ball that has momentum away from you. It's the same mistake we saw earlier. This ball is going away from you. You're not going to teleport and catch up to it. It, is, it has momentum away from you. They are there. The ball has momentum towards them. It's not going to randomly... This, you're not... Like, it doesn't work. This is okay. You could go on the wall here, anticipate a touch on the wall. The more you drive forward, the less chance you have of actually hitting it, right? I think I push up here to maintain pressure. Hey, that's all good. The flip here, I guess, is okay. Um, just like when he when he's about to hit it, like I would be more in this position instead of like you you're a little too close. So I do get you know you're pushing up and shit, which is fine. But uh, like just just don't get too close, cause like here if I go wall now, like look at how perfect this is. He would have done the same thing if you push up this far or if you pushed up a little bit less far right it's just the fact that you learn to speed flip 
uh, that doesn't mean you have to always speed flip and get in front of the ball and be useless, you know? You could have just driven up, you could have just normal flipped. Just know that you don't want to be too far up. So, moment of an interaction. That's one interaction. See, you're covering your net. If this went on target, you're in a good position. Oh, they missed. Okay, I can adapt. I adapt. Another moment of an interaction. He plays towards wall, right? That's one. Uh, what is happening right now? Turn towards net. Moment of interaction. Cover your fucking net. Nope. Ah, blah, blah, blah. You can see Flying Penguin has an open net here. And this is GC1. This is like top 0.1% of the, of, the, of the game. And it, 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 just look at it. Just look at App standing there, bro. He's like, hey, what's up, bitch? He's like, hey, what's up? I don't care. That... I hope you understand. You can't. You can only go if it's clean, free, safe. Is it clean? No, it's not. First of all, it, it, no. So the end of play. Is it free? No. Is it safe? No. You can't. End of the play. It's if this, if he misses and you can score, score. Clean, free, safe. Is it? He's up. He's closer. No. Where am I going? I just want to say that watching a replay might make you look stupid. But like in game, it's just like you just you, you just you just play, you know. So don't don't get too discouraged or something. Also, don't listen to people in chat if they're hating on you. So here, there is an element of there is a guy that just committed, and we can probably take a one v one or two v one. So speeding up the play here is actually potentially beneficial. See that guy, flying penguin. Um, you do get past him. You do block. There's not a lot of control in this play, but you know, block on the last man. It's not bad but in my opinion like either you go here like you just hit the ball here and continue or you actually take your time so you can outplay flying penguin in a way where you can control it now you're kind of like you didn't play fast enough so flying penguin is there and you just get this first touch into flying penguin kind of then you get past him because he misses but all you can do is just boost and hold your momentum and just hope for the best you know this is that, that was almost an episode of i'm going way too far back yes i know he's shooting Yes, I know, but you have to stay here and then only cover the shot when the actual shot is coming. Because, like, you go this far back and this guy, like, almost misses or something, right? All right that's a double jump loop. Take the boost and you're fine. Give them the boost and you lose. Um, but, yeah, um, let's see what I would do. Right, he hits it. I, like this is just good positioning, right? And as soon as the shot comes, you have to go wide rotation. But he's—it's not coming yet. You can just keep. I don't know. I, I guess it's not too bad. It's just like when this shot, when this shit happens, preferably you want to be here. And now since you're so far back, it's gonna bounce and it almost goes over you. You have to do weird double jump save and shit. But whereas if you were like closer to this shit, because the shot wasn't so threatening, like he could have shot top corner maybe but like it's from so far away you will you will reach it it's, it's not like too much of a threat um like uh, i don't know he's not even reaching it fully but i guess my, maybe you didn't see that so I, I guess i have to take into consideration uh but my, my please single jump fly flip please no no double jumps please single jump fly flip learn i but please i'm nervous yeah i don't care Look, it's fine to make mistakes, it's just learn from it. This is double jump is shit. Um, then when this happens, the opponent is there, there's a 50, the 50 pinch is there. I can grab the boost because you kind of have to know if, if the ball is like up here, it's going to go down, right? If it goes all the way down here, it's going to go up. If it's either one of these two situations, you can grab the boost. If it's from here to like here, it's going to bounce out and you cannot go for that boost. It's as, as simple as that. Not going for the boost isn't like a huge mistake or anything unless your opponent gets it, which he does. Either here it's go on the wall, be on the wall, or it's be on the ground, be on the ground. It's no go on the wall, then go on the ground, and then you almost get beaten, right? But it's good you go up because you have to go up. Good job, you block. It's your objective done. Moment of interaction. And now you're backwards, and now there's a chance you could get beaten. Wow, single jump! It's good! Sideways momentum. You don't just want to hit this away. It's primitive instinct to do that. I don't know if this was your intention, but touch to the side is actually great. Why? Because your teammate keeps well position. Now, he'll probably just hit it away because he's stupid, but hey, we did what we could, and what he does with the ball is not our team responsibility and shit. Okay. Good job! Did you see you didn't do anything and now you're about to get a free ball? 
Wow! Grand champ won, dude! Congrats, dude! My intention was to give it to my teammate there. Hey, you did you did amazing, man. But did you see you're probably not even trying to fake challenge you? You're probably trying to dummy challenge here. Oh, I'll, I'll turn up field and I'm looking to challenge here. Oh, he went up the wall. I'll turn back then. Next time I'll do better. This movement is good if you were actually aware of the fact that he'll probably play it to you in a second, right? Right, free ball. And driving into it there ensures again it's the same thing we saw in the beginning that you, you get a free ball without hitting it away. Like if you just drove into it here and then it doesn't really matter where it goes, you just try to follow up. Flipping isn't terrible uh, because you you know you give it to yourself in the end anyway, but th this other touch is not the greatest. It's not terrible because you have a teammate. There is mid boost there you could have taken. Hey, good job. Good job. Solid position. You don't push up too far. See how you how you're a little slow on your positioning, but that's a good thing. You have good positioning. You don't want to push up here and then moment of the interaction happens, and then you turn back and then it's a free goal and then you try to turn back back and then it shouldn't, you can't be there. This is good. You're a little slow, but it's good. Good kickoff to score for boost. Oh, yeah, it's probably awareness. Like you can only score this if you double jump now and you hit this like inverse negative angle. If you double jump now and like air roll a little and then get that angle, then you score. If you have to like wait and let it come more to middle, it's not gonna work. Maybe you don't know this. Perhaps you know it now. Um, that's why I said just go for boost. If you don't know that, then I see why you wouldn't go for boost. But I feel like at some point you would think like, hey, maybe. Oh, he already jumped. How do, you, do you play with audio? If you don't, you suck. But I mean. It's up to you, but uh, at this point, I feel like you should know you, you should go for boost. Jumping is up your recovery, it doesn't give you boost. Not a bad turn, I like it. That touch is sus though, because it's into him. Either, again, you want to touch to the left, so it bounces side wall and back to middle, or you want to try and control it towards middle instantly. You don't want to get a touch towards him, right? So, either hit it here and back middle, or try to control here somewhere, right? Controlling here is hard because the ball has momentum towards the other side. This side should be easier, but it's probably just not in your repertoire because you don't think about it. It's just awareness that you can utilize the side as a friend, you know, you don't have friends. It's good, don't... No, your teammate is landing there. Listen, if your teammate is landing there, he cannot be anywhere else. Listen to that sentence, please. And that means that if this guy has just doesn't care about life and he just goes for this and he just hits this and it's, this somehow goes in, you need it to be the last man. It's that simple. You can think of it. If you can go outside and walk, then you can probably think of it. It's just you don't. So that touch is actually very good. You just need to know there's like seven megalodons and 35 T-Rexes behind you. Look at them. They're, they're eating their own family right there. They just killed each other. So this search is very good. You just need to keep pushing through your corner. Grab the boost. Stay in ball possession. If they want to challenge, take a 50 or something. If you can't outplay. Yeah, perfect control of the ball. Just keep driving with it. Boost with it. Grab the full boost. If they want to challenge, just take a 50. Try to fake or something. Something like that. Stopping here. Taking a 50 that could end up in like it's kind of in front of your net and shit It's better to just get go to the corner grab the boost. They'll, they'll get, go, get there without like a lot of boost and shit See this 50 isn't great because you like take it in front of the net I don't I don't like I don't actually mind the the thought process you have there But it's just a 50 in, in that location is kind of sus You're getting way too close and you, I mean I get it zero seconds yeah. Oh, cool. I mean, we've said a lot of things in this replay. It's like the positioning in net. If you have the time to be in a good position, then your good position should be opposite side of where the play is. If the ball is over there, then it should be this behind goal line, opposite side. You just wait. Ball will always come towards you. Being aware of uh, when to grab boosts and not. Sometimes in, in offense, you would just not grab the boost or something. You would pr go for something. But I get it. You know, you, it looks like you can score, so you try and then doesn't work and shit other than that every time you did have the ball we, we didn't really see like too much attempts most of the time you had the ball and you would just go for the most like instinctive in like thing like you would have the ball i could hit it forward and we just go right and then you know something would happen and you, you just play from there don't don't feel like there was too much control uh, in there either thank you for sending it in and uh, have a good day Bye.